This superstar has been waiting a long, long time for this match. And here comes their opponent. I think we've all been waiting for this match. I want to see these two get it on. What? what? Wait a second. Oh, wait a second. His right turn around. Uh-oh. What are they doing here? This isn't going to be pretty. Uh -huh. Now we can get this match started. They want nothing to do with this fight. They're running scared. Well, what kind of person sticks their nose in someone else's affairs? Match underway now. We saw the clear show of disrespect heading into this one. That's not going to be forgotten anytime soon. Yeah, this is an issue that needs to be resolved, but I'm not sure if it will be anytime soon. Just a complete lack of respect on all fronts. Uh, working on the arm, arm ringer. Oh, and a kick. It was nasty. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Oh, there's some gouging going on. Oh, that's unnecessary. Well scattered reversal there. You know, Cameron Grimes can be absolutely ferocious when the moment calls for it. And this is one of those moments. If he utilizes that roughneck offense of his and throws caution to the wind, he could find himself firmly in control of this matchup. That's playing possum! Whoa! Playing possum! Oh, somehow! He couldn't make much of that. Oh! Well-executed arm drag. Big clothesline. What's going to happen here? Nice Back breaker. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Oh, Dominic gets cut off. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Things seem to be escalating between them. Yeah, Michael, what started as a disagreement looks like it has turned into bad blood. I think we know what's coming next. Watch out! Suicide dive! Whatever it takes to win. Toss caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Down, what a gourd buster. Oh, man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. He fends off the attack. Reigns down an elbow in retaliation. Way to steer clear. There is some power behind that punch. Going head to head, putting each other to the test. Slugging away with everything they've got. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. Who will break first? That is the question. Ooh. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Both rapid fire shots. Now superstars backing down. Ending this test of wills with a big exclamation point. Cameron Grimes on a collision course. Grimes just made him pay the price with that one. There's two. Kicks out. That is just pure instinct at this point. Grimes has his sights set on the target. He turns it around. Oh, wiped out with the crossbody. Neither one of these men are showing any signs of staying down. Yeah, but it can't last much longer. Soaring. Frog splash. Feeling like it's over for Grimes. Oh, what will it be? Oh, and he kicked out at two. Getting out of that by the skin of their teeth. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Lands the elbow. And Dominic is now dictating the pace. 
face. And I don't see Dominic relenting anytime soon. Springboard! Oh, just completely off target there. You have daring and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. This match by count out. You may think he's got more guts than brains, but it's this kind of boldness that Whoa. took Grimes to the moon. Compromised position here. Refuse to let the disrespect get to them, and now they are standing tall. Definitely kept their head clear in this one. And you know what? You have to respect this win. They don't have to do anything, Saxton. Yes, but if their point was that they couldn't even lace their boots, I think we just saw how wrong that is tonight. Some of the most positive and energetic superstars you'll ever meet. The New Day. No one gets the crowd fired up like the New Day. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, accompanied by Big E at a combined weight of 417 pounds. Xavier Woods. Corey, why aren't you clapping? Because I cannot stand this. This is ridiculous. Constant. Like someone threw up unicorn glitter all over WWE. So, okay, we get it. We get it. You're a Debbie Downer. Get it, Big E. Nice to see you've been studying your third grade book of insults, Byron Saxton. <laughs> The D'Angelo family is here in business. Very good. 
Tony and Stax take what they want. The only problem is they want it all. And their opponents at a combined weight of 472 pounds. Tony D'Angelo and Channing Lorenzo. The D'Angelo family. Tony and Stax have each taken an oath to the D'Angelo family. If you mess with the family, you pay the price. The Don and his underboss are united in their goals and their tactics. One of the top teams to come out of NXT. They are a danger on any brand. Here we go, all set to see the D'Angelo family firm tighten their grip on the WWE Tag Team Division. Yeah, Cole, but the harder you grip, the easier it is for things to slip through your fingers. There are a lot of teams hoping to knock Tony D and Stax off their game and take control for themselves. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and family needs to be as much bite as they are bark. I expect we'll see all the bite they have to give here tonight. Well, they'll have to deal with a little unicorn magic in the form of your boys, the New Day. No, oh, apart from those times they threw pancakes in my face, this is probably the best tag team WWE's ever had. The perfect combination of speed, power, and intelligence. These guys have a license to print money and a free lease in their opponent's hands. What a counter by Tony. Big forearm. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Oh, my. Guillotine leg drop. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. And D'Angelo telling the crowd to watch him. Shining wizard! That's right, Corey! That was a shining wizard! Oh! Oh! Just completely controlling their opponent here. Has it draped over the middle rope. Take it out from the second. Oh, that got turned around on Woods. Uh-oh. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Oh, D'Angelo anticipated that. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. Belly to belly. Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Ooh, that was close. And clearly stooping low with that attack. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Boom. There he goes, right into the corner. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Great wherewithal on the counter. He's got him down. Is this it? Stop the ref count before two. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. He made it. Tag made. Flapjack. Face first. D'Angelo, one step ahead. Escapes in a nick of time. Uh. 
solely focused on punishing the leg. Goes without saying, but a leg injury will hamper your ability to do just about anything. Boom, off the boot. He may be in a bad way here. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Striking down with the axe handle. And set right into the corner. In the corner. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. Delivering the suplex. See that coming. Push. Gets him with the counter. D'Angelo one step ahead. Close line. So effective. What a punch. And that assault thwarted Xavier Woods there. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. With the Lariat. He was waiting for him to make his move. Dax gets countered. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh, and overhand. Tag made. Oh, I think something bad is about to happen to their opponent. Down they go. No way Dax can come back from that. Cover. He keeps his team in the match. Moved at the right time. DDT! Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Cut off and takes a boot. Oh, uncorked the big punch. Oh, did you hear that? That'll stop you in your tracks. Dropkick finds the spot. Placed in the corner. Headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Not where you want to be right now. Oof. Look at the hips. Frankenstein! He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Tag made. Tag made. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Kofi. Tony is completely out of sorts here. Kofi kicks it! Kofi got it! Kofi got it! So goes down. And a kick out! No one saw that coming. Man, oh man, what resilience. He's got to be running on instinct alone. On a normal night, that wins it for Kofi, but tonight is proving to be a much different night. This is what he feeds off of. Moments like this, this big match feel. He went right into that turnbuckle. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Kofi turns it around.
Well, dodge in the corner. Oh, pendulum overhead kick. Boom, impact. And he saw Kofi coming. Ooh. Tag made, double team offense on the horizon. For Kofi Kingston. But uh, teammate makes the save. And just in time. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Oh, drop kick. You can sense it. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready to erupt. Are we close to the beginning of the end? Let's go. Xavier Woods walking the top rope. Limit break it for Woods about to end this fight. That's got to be it. Takedown. <laughs> helicopter spin. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. Jarring impact. Uh-oh. Fought off with an elbow. Up and... Oh, knee right to the spine. Ooh. And Woods saw it coming. Into the corner. This can't be good. Diving elbow. Oh, God. Kofi thinking he can close this one out. Avoids the kick. Oh! And deliver a super kick in response. Leg breaker! The WWE Universe showing the love for these superstars who have given them so much tonight. Wicked forearm! Did you hear that thud? His defenses have fallen and soon he may too. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Quick thinking pays off. Look out. Oh, pendulum overhead kick. Ah, uh, takedown. And now punches right. Oh, a flurry of strikes. He got whipped into that corner. He's one step ahead there. What are we going to see here? Quick screen neck breaker. Play and possum. Shoulders down. Oh, he got him. What a win. Here are your winners. Tony D'Angelo and Channing Lorenzo. The D'Angelo family. A winning effort tonight from the D'Angelo family. Tag team excellence in its purest form. You simply love to see it. And I hope we see these guys tagging again real soon. Here comes Indy Hartwell, one of the toughest underdogs in the women's division. The 
following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Boiling over with well-deserved confidence. Now she's earned that confidence, Saxton, and she really is impressive. Hartwell has already accomplished so much in such a young career. She's on a trajectory that is truly impressive. The self-proclaimed Hell's Favorite Harlot. And you can see exactly why. And from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. She made a name for herself as a tag team competitor in NXT. Now on her own, but just as dangerous, has something to prove. Yeah, despite being underestimated and underappreciated, Gigi Dolan plans to change that perception. Gigi Dolan has the ability to be pretty imaginative in the ring. She says her creativity is how she expresses herself. There's the bell, and Gigi Dolan is ready for singles action. The one thing about Dolan, she's not afraid to put her body on the line. Not afraid to push the limits to get where she wants to go. Where she wants to go is straight to the top. Tonight is the next run on the ladder of her climb. And indie wrestling is more than ready to throw down. Ready to have some respect put on her name. Ready to push her own limits. And ready to go. One step ahead of Indy there. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Waist lock applied, but their opponent from the opposition. superstars go. Indy Hartwell might be the benchmark, Corey. She has the size, the speed, the charisma. She has all that, but she's far too easily distracted by outside factors. While there's no denying her... Sweeps the leg for the takedown. Looking to step over to the single leg. Trying to break the submission, and she does. Hammerlock. Hammerlock. Reverse DDT. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Single leg takedown. Could be looking for the single leg Boston Crab. Oh, look at this. Trying to break the submission, and she does. Impressive reversal there. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Very effective. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Two. She was close to the end there. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Oh, oh there's an arm breaker. Right to the spine. Oh, India avoid. Clotheslines and the cap. And will this be it? Just after two. Just barely, but it 
it counts. Oh, right to the leg. Dolan finding an opening. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. Gigi Dolan has her opponent off. Oh, my, the DG driver. Does that finish Indy off? And the kick out. Wait, are we sure that was not a three count? You can't count that high, Saxton, but that was one of the closest near falls you'll ever see. That is firing your biggest shot, but leaving your prey left standing. Time to reload. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. She's looking for the win. Strong kick out late into the match. Late in the match, but somehow has the incomparable power to kick out before the one count. That'll turn your lights out. Beautiful athleticism. Kick right to the body. Neither superstar giving an inch here. The fight is on, and it's furious. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. Taking flight. Body spot. Gigi Dolan, what is she looking for now? Oh my, the Gigi driver. Gigi has her on Dream Street. Two. Gigi Dolan has done it. Here is your winner, Gigi Dolan. And what a win for Gigi Dolan. Nothing shocking about this win. Gigi Dolan stepping up big time. His opponent, I just ran them shoulder first into the steel steps. What a vicious attack. What a vicious and calculated attack. Those are very fancy ways for you to say intelligent, Cole. Well, after a shocking surprise attack while entering, this match is finally underway. Certainly not how I thought we'd be starting this match. Yeah, it's just a little friendly warm-up before the match. There is nothing friendly about jumping someone when they're not looking, Corey. to avoid their bicycle knee strike. Ouch! Oh, what a nasty knee lift. Working to neutralize that arm. Stop after stop after stop. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. There's a special word that I can't say on air for that type of slap. Hey, keep things T for team, Corey.
Great strength being shown here. No, someone called a dentist. We know Ciampa likes to keep a slow, deliberate pace in his matches, loves to control the flow of things that way. Corey, I imagine that if you want to really challenge him, you have to pick up the pace. Absolutely, Cole. You can't let Ciampa control things if you want to have a fighting chance. You have to speed things up. You have to outpace him. He's looking a little off balance. He manages to escape it. You. I wanted to knee and here's a cover. Pushes through after two. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. The arm is trapped, and here come the elbows. Vicious. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. What a drop kick. Tornado DDT! Talk about devastation. Oh, flapjack. Gosh, landing face first. Bam! Down he goes. Big splash. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. That's the M.O. of Montez, always ready to put his explosive athleticism into action. Ciampa is in some serious trouble. And would you look at that? He's really trying to outpace the more slow and deliberate Ciampa here. I gotta give it up for Montez Ford. The man is it enough? The cover! There's two! Almost ended it there. How in the world did he kick out? This is dangerous territory for both athletes. The ring apron. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. Punishing their opponent now. With a series of forearms. Looking to take flight here. He has him right where he wants him. Up high. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Uh-oh. Suicide dive. Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. No. Tomasa <laughs> Champa is relentless. Somehow Montez has to turn the tide. Ellie Cross neckbreaker. Ford got met with some stiff resistance there. That sort of hard hitting offense is what we've come to expect from Champa. Champa lining him up from the top turnbuckle. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. To the sky. Whoa, what a landing. Trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? Held in a perilous position. Uh-oh. No! Able to capitalize on Ford's mistake. And Tez was expecting that. Oh, a knee to the face. And gets tossed back into the mat. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Now the trash talking after the victory. 
Emotions running high. And Byron, I'm not quite sure this is what we, we expected to see. Okay, this is, no, this is not needed. This is uncalled for with a steel shield to the arm. Repeated shots. Winning clearly wasn't enough for this superstar. It's about taking out their opponent all together. But this is too much, Corey. This is way too far. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. Los Lotharios are here. Here to chase after glory and women. And their opponents at a combined weight of 403 pounds. Angel Garza and Alberto Los Lotharios. The Latin lovers, Los Lotharios, now trying to prove they can be lovers and fighters. A pair of high-flying heartbreakers. Now they know how to get it done in the ring and save the partying for later. And they're hoping to have a lot to celebrate tonight. Los Lotharios are hoping for a quick win here so they can hurry back to all their adoring fans. Uh, don't hold your breath, ladies. And Corey, I know you could feel a collective gasp from the ladies around the arena for Los Lotharios. Well, if looks could kill, these guys would have a rap sheet a mile long. And in the ring, they're just as deadly. Technique as sharp as Umberto's dimples. I'm glad one of us said it, Corey, but I'll be damned if it was going to be me. And if you're a team that wants to learn how to work as one, this should be a match to study. This is a match to take notes on. As a team, you always have to be on the same page, but in this one, you can expect to see teams on the same sentence. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Gotta hurt. Watch this athleticism. 
Sent to the outside. Oh, no. Get out of the way! Oh, man! A drop kick. Bad landing. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Just hot shot it to the outside. And now gets tossed into the ring. Big forearm. Placing them into the corner. Tag is made. Little tandem offense on the horizon. Oh, a double back elbow. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. Great reversal. Kick to the gut. And a big right hand. Put a stop to that. Ooh! From behind. Six up. Inverted DDT. Ooh, well measured. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Oh, what a close line. Sends him into the corner. Now, this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Capitalizing on Sokoa's mistake. Caught with a clothesline. Shot after shot. Oh. Ooh, ruthless striking. Tagged with a punch. Sharp punch. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT. Able to reverse that one. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Oof. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. Placed into the corner. Tag is registered. Two count at this point has to be frustrating. Boom! Oh, he retaliates. Piercing the throat. And off the tag is Jimmy Uso. Sent out to the middle. Oh, Super kick! On the mark. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. The way this rivalry is heating up, guys, hopefully cooler heads will ultimately prevail. Yeah, the jabs, the disrespect. Things have definitely escalated over the past couple of weeks. That turns it around for Solo. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh. Knife edge! Uh-oh, sets him up. Solo can end this now. Makes the cover. He stops the count for his partner. Caught a 
him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. He saw it coming, taking advantage. From behind. Back suplex. He's starting to struggle here. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? He thinks he has. for the tag team. These two earned it. Get out of their ring. That wasn't too classy. Nonetheless, victorious here tonight in tag team action. Gentlemen, pay respects to your double champion. I already am. Well, double your respects then. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the NXT UK Women's Champion and the WWE. This is a grand entrance for a woman who's made history. She carries the weight of two championships. She is absolutely at the top of the women's division, and she's carrying the two championships to prove it. And she wants the whole world to know both of those titles belong to her. Jade is here. Jendo stick in hand, ready for a fight. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade! Cora Jade has called herself the savior of the women's division. Look, Jade isn't here to play games and make friends. She's here to face the best of the best and take them down. She certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of confidence.
Cora Jade is hoping to make a statement here tonight. And that statement is, you can't handle the generation of Jade. And Cora Jade has really made a point to say that she doesn't need any friends or allies as she carves her path in this business. Her so-called Generation of Jade is a one-woman show, it seems. Cora Jade doesn't need or want anyone to get in the way of her professional goals. And you should be applauding the fact that a young superstar such as herself has such great focus, Cole. Well, we'll see if Cora's focus can translate into coming out on top in this match. And let's see if she's prepared to take on the nightmarish Rhea Ripley. At the core of her being, Rhea Ripley is one of the most physically dominant superstars in the WWE locker room. Yeah, Saxon, I think the confidence that Rhea has now makes her more dangerous than she ever was before. Ooh. Great counter! Oh, flapjack! Can she do it here? And she kicks at it, too. No celebrations yet. Uh-oh, she has trouble coming. Not going to be easy to get out of this. That's a great counter there. And turns it into a great offensive maneuver. Oh, a step up in Zagari. Inverted face lock into an elbow drop. Risking it all and able to connect like a homing missile. That's not right. Constant pressure being put on Jade. And that's a focused and dangerous Cora Jade getting it done and taking control. Marching up the corner, slice bread. Cover two, fends off the three count. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. She flips it back on her. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Abdominal stretch, fighting out. Dropping the arm. STO. I able to counter. Kick to the gut by Ripley. Followed by Ripley. I think Ripley can end this. Looking for. Jade suffering the loss in this one. It looks like the generation of Jade just had a setback.
This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds. We've seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him in the ring. And that fire cannot be extinguished. drive on paper all the attributes of a top talent yeah Braun Breaker just seems destined for very big things he's here and holding two championships and his opponent from St. Louis Missouri weighing in at 275 Holding two titles is the ultimate statement of power. Who could question him at this point? Let there be no doubt, this is what domination looks like. And he's at the top of this division. This man will not let either of those titles out of his grasp. A determined look on the face of the double champion. The bell rings and we're underway. The Viper, Randy Orton, clearly that might be it. He forces a break before the count of two. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. He gets out of the way. Lariat. The Viper able to strike back. Back elbow. Did you see that? Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Oh, what's coming here? Submit. He is in serious trouble here and finds his way out. Solid contact from the Viper. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. He deflects it right back. The Viper escapes hard. Man, what an uppercut. And Breaker didn't exactly look like his usual powerhouse self there. Yeah. And he goes for the pin. Referee breaks the count. Looks like a rope break. This press. Rapid fire right hands. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Bang! What a punch. And Breaker is finally able to mount some resistance with that. Yeah, Breaker's survival instincts are taking over. Oh, that'll rally you. Breaker can't seem to get out of harm's way. Breaker's inexperienced being targeted with this offense. The genetic freak is being neutralized. Boom! Number there. Brilliant 
countering by both competitors. All the way up, and the big time powerbomb. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Okay, face first. He's on his heels a bit now. When the Viper strikes, he does not hold back. Oh, look at that scope slam. Shoulder tackle. Look out. Somersault plunge out of the floor. Pinpoint precision right on target. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. He moved, but can he capitalize? Cross the shoulders up and boom. A check. He slides him back to the mat. Unloads with the boot. This is an unwieldy attack from Braun. Orton needs to return to his instincts. Good defense. Fires back with a crucial elbow. And finds a counter. Randy. Breaker's got a problem here. The cover! It is enough! Finally, it's over! Here is your winner! The Viper, Randy Orton! Randy Orton standing tall here tonight. The Viper had his eyes on the prize, and he struck when the time was right. Of course things ended his way. Here's someone who always has a plan and always knows who he's dealing with. It's Seth freaking Rollins. Think of everything Seth Rollins has been through. Everything he's accomplished, he can adapt to any situation. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth Freaking Rollins! He's held the Intercontinental, the US, the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. Nobody in WWE runs their mouth quite as much as Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah, but nobody delivers on their promises like he does either.
Jey Uso is here and he is a new man. And his opponent from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event, Jay Uso! The one thing that hasn't changed about Jay Uso is his unrelenting desire to be at the top of WWE. Yeah, and at this point, I don't think anything can hold him back. Jay Uso has truly reached main event status. He is about to face what some call the gatekeeper of this industry. Well, anyone who thinks they're any good has to prove it first against Seth freaking Rollins. So I can just calmly say that we'll start things off with Seth freaking Rollins. With his combination of creativity. He can do it here. One, two, Manages to escape before the three count. And frustration might be starting to set in. Sent into the corner. with a sharp elbow. Makes him pay with a counter. Oh, this is going to be good. What a sit-out power bomb. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. Got them right in the corner. to say it, but you have to think Rollins' worst enemy in this match might ultimately be himself. Oh, I absolutely agree. Rollins goes in expecting victory, and when it doesn't come easily, he tends... No! Tope, what? That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Uh-oh. Boom! Scorpion death drop. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Jay doing whatever it takes there to protect his seat at the table. And well-timed maneuver there. Elbow drop. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Ooh! He knew that was coming. Jumping clothesline! Wait, 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 wait! Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Vicious right forearm. Setting up neck breaker position. Oh, forearm to the back. Sharp knee. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Rollins got surprised there. These two having an answer for everything. Oh, close line. The King Slayer is dominating. Rollins keeping a level head, not expecting victory to just fall into his lap. From the top, five-star frog splash. 
That is Rollins showing just what it means to be the visionary. How? How? Rollins making perfectly clear who the visionary is in this match. Keep Rollins down. Cover! There's two! He manages to kick out. What strength! Rollins staying in this thing. Some could even say he's far too stubborn to have things end like that. And Jay threw everything he had at his opponent. You gotta wonder what else he's gotta do to put him away. Climbing to the top rope. From the top! He catches nothing but air. Repositioning their opponent. Looks like a neck breaker. Ooh, bang! Jey Uso not looking so good here. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Jey Uso can come back from this. After all, he has been down since. Rollins lining it up. Stop! Now Rollins needs to end this. Cover! Oh, kicks out, kicks out. What a crucial kick out. And the blood is still pumping for Jey Uso. And we know Rollins has a temper. You have to think he's starting to get in his own head a bit. This is all going to come down to who wants it more. And right now, that's pretty much impossible to tell. This is really any superstar's game. And you have to be impressed by the fight they're... Plans from Rollins. Take off. Five star frog splatter. Cover. Two. And the victory. Here is your winner, Seth Freaking Rollins. Jay so unable to get the win here tonight. Rollins feeling the energy of the WWE Universe as they celebrate his victory. I better not hear you singing his theme, Saxton. A modern marvel not to be messed with. An absolute force of nature. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria. Weighing in at 400 pounds. The Nigerian Wait, wait, what, what's going on here? Well, he's confused. 
Oh, what a cheap shot. That's just evening the playing field, Cole. What a disgrace. And we're getting dangerously close to the referee calling this match off. These superstars need to come to their senses. I hate to say it, but I think that ship sailed. I have no idea how you stop a fight like this now. Had that one scouted. Ouch. Sequence of reversals there. And huge burning lariat. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Oh, this, what a headbutt. For a master tactician like Gunther, the path to victory couldn't be more obvious. He just has to choose his best strategy and put it into action. If he can do that, I'm sure this match will be going his way. Gunther's strategies have paid off for him in the past. Will it be the same case here in this one? Facing off at the top of the ramp. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to hurt. Clubbing blows. He just barely dodges. And, oh, fiery Larian. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. Oh. Whip back into the ring. Referee signals for the battle, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. Omos just got outsmarted. That's where the inexperience of Omos comes into play. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Vicious right forearm. Oh, red right in there. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Close line. Good Lord. So effective. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. Oh, oh, right down. Down. It's cinched in. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Gunther shifts out to his favor. Completely cuts them off. This incredibly hostile robbery has reached levels we don't often see around here. This, he can do it here. And a kick out at two. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Left by the turnbuckles. Opportunity for Omas to shift the momentum. Time now for Omas to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. Vicious right forearm. Oh, a jackknife bomb. Is it enough to overcome oh. Gunther? What in the world? What an amazing level of fight. Still left and Gunther. But Omas can't let his opponent recover here if he wants to maintain his advantage. He is delivering elbow after elbow. He's got him scouted. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh my, set fly. Ooh, a shot like that would 
counter any attack. Pulled back into the hip toss. This match may be nearing its limit. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Gunther fears no man. Got caught in the jaw with the knee. Close line. Omos is in a very vulnerable position here. Uh-oh. Omos changes the direction of that one. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Just cranking the head. You have to think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. Fatigue starts setting in, and you don't know exactly have all your wits about you. It could quickly lead to error. Up high, and spine buster by Omos. Omos got it. Can he end it? Two count. He kicks out somehow. What an amazing level of fight. Still right. Gunther with his opponent all the way up. Driven down with the power bomb. Omos felt the full force of that one. Oh, kick out, kick out at two. That was about as close as you're going to get to pinning Omos. And you have to think, it ain't going to happen again. It is just unbelievable. And Gunther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. Stay down. Pure instinct. Omos with a vice light grip on his opponent. With a jackknife choke bomb. And it's all Omos is for the taking. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner. The This is a war Gunther just could not win. Omas showed up big in this one, as always. Mark your calendar. We are now in the age of the Nigerian Giant.